Hello everyone, we're going to factor completely using a special case I like to call difference of squares. Difference of squares is unique because there are several characteristics to the problem. For one, there are two terms that you only can use. Also, there is a subtraction. And three, they're dealing with squares, perfect squares. So in this problem, I do have two terms here. I do have a subtraction. And I'm going to focus on each term individually. And what I want to know is, are they perfect squares? Meaning, can I take the square root and get a perfect answer? Well, if I take the square root of z squared, I am left with just one z. So that's perfect. Then I want to take the square root of 81. And for the square root of 81, you actually get 9. When you're doing difference of squares, if it is set up this way, your answer should be two binomials, in which case the terms are alike except the signs. One is a minus, one is a plus. So in this particular problem, I'm going to set them up. I know that the square root of z squared is z, so I'm going to put both of them here. And I also know that the square root of 81 is 9, so I'm going to put the 9's here. Because it's different to squares. I have to make one negative, and I have to make the other one positive. So your answer to this problem is z minus 9 times z plus 9. And there you have it.